This is something I've always considered rather common, but over the years people have kept telling me about it, and I suppose it may be an interesting topic for a video after all. So let's do it. This is what we'll do. It's about Horson Jr. and all the different ways to get him, but more specifically about the so-called peaceful path. And I put peaceful in quotes because you still end up killing a bunch of people, but it's less so than usual. Now, what I mean by usual is one of two things. First, if you agree to Cleaver's deal and assault Junior's bases with his dwarves. You heard them. We're going in. This is the path of most bloodshed, where you just storm in, kill everyone and ignore pretty much all dialogue that is otherwise available. On the bright side, I believe this is how you get the most out of these quests in terms of experience and money. Should search this hole. Now, the second way to not find Junior peacefully is by refusing to take Cleaver's dwarves, but then aggravating the people you talk to inside the arena or the casino. And the most efficient way to do that is by asking about Junior. That seems to be the question that gets everyone riled up. Not hunting shitzards tonight. Looking for the owner of this establishment. Oh. Now, one curious thing here is that some NPCs are touchier than others on the subject. For example, in the casino, you can get away with asking this guy about Junior if you then sway the dialogue back into playing Gwent. Thanks for the warning. If someone's nice to me, I try to be nice to them. At any rate, let's play, shall we? However, a single mention of Horson to this guy will immediately get you in trouble. Heard Junior comes here sometimes. Did you now? What else have you heard? Horson around or not? Junior was right. Someone's after him. Disarm this man! So doing one of these two things, siding with Cleaver or aggravating the people, will result in Junior's men recognizing you in front of his estate and there will be no way to avoid fighting them as soon as the conversation begins. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Believe I did have the pleasure to meet those two gentlemen. What were the names again? Olgard and Vic? Give them my regards. Pathetic. Additionally, when you find the man himself, and if you choose the optional dialogue of why he shouldn't lie to you, Geralt will say that he had to kill a lot of people to get here. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. Now, there is an alternative. As I said already, the peaceful way of doing things is to avoid asking direct questions about Horson. And if you manage that, you will only have to win a few games of Gwent in the casino before you're taken upstairs. Doesn't look too cozy. Not a comfortable place to play cards. Someone less trusting might take it for an interrogation room. Junior doesn't believe in miracles. This is where cheats learn just how much he dislikes being robbed. Work him over. Once you're done, wrap a nice thick chain around his legs and drop him in the pontar. And you will have to win a few bouts in the arena before Junior reveals himself. Bravo! The dwarves attack. Cleaver's dwarves are in the sewers. They've slaughtered the guards! And everything goes wrong anyway. Master the men and get out those magics! And would someone please kill the blasted witcher? Again, as I said earlier, in these scenarios you still end up killing people, but apparently not enough for the guards to recognize you immediately. This will allow you to pretend that you are there on business and they'll urge you to take the secret path through the sewers. Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't he? Junior ought to know someone sniffing around. Here to talk about the new girls for Horson. Never seen you here before. You know him. Can't say that I do. I'm new here. 
Eh? What happened to Norbert? Cleaver happened to him. Poor sod. Better than to die of consumption, remember? He looked a bit on the downslope. All right. But next time, remember to bring the tarts for Junior through the back by way of the old canal. Go through there. Thanks, I'll keep it in mind. Which reminds me I should make a video about all the ways to get inside the Putrid Grove. Um, some of which involve the sewers, but uh, that's for another time. Where are the women? Where's the entertainment? I'm it. Take him from the back! Eye for an eye! So back to Horson. Additionally, when you choose to tell him why he shouldn't lie to you, Geralt's line will be different this time, referring instead to the people he had to talk to and not kill, which is a nice touch. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to talk to people I didn't want to talk to, wouldn't normally talk to. Some of them tried to cheat me, some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. Now there are still some curious things to be mentioned here, so let's go over them. Dup dup. Dup dup. Dup dup. Back at the casino, as soon as you enter, you can find a list with many of the participants of the Gwent tournament, including Sasha. Shall we go upstairs? You can show me exactly how it ended. Some other time, maybe. I understand. Not all stories end the same way. Then, on the second floor, there's a man who references Geralt's knighthood. Actually, I was knighted. Ahem. <clears throat> Indeed. Not to pry, good sir, but who bestowed the accolade? Meave, Queen of Lyria and Rivia, during the Second War. Which can be seen in Thronebreaker, The Witcher Tales, and of course in the Baptism of Fire book. Then, on the top, as I suspected in another video, if you've already met Rico Meyersdorf... What's your name? Rico. Rico Meyersdorf. You will later have a unique dialogue with his father during the Apiarian Phantom Quest. Holofernes Meyersdorf at your service. Meet my sons, Bernie, Franklin and Hugo. Hmm. Any relation to Rico Meyersdorf? Uh, uh, yes. My youngest son. Sadly, he fled the family business. Went to seek fortune in the big city. But that's a long story, and I'm in need of help from one like you. Then, moving on to the arena, uh, one curious thing is that the very first opponent you fight will yield, and if you spare him, he will actually join you in the following fights. Three children! I will not kill him. Wait! Release the hounds! Even the announcer will take note of this. The Witcher and Gustav Rowan defeat their opponents! He can't be killed, but you can also keep him alive until the end. And as far as I can tell, he just remains stuck there forever. And of course, I gotta talk about Zdenek. He can usually be found dead outside the arena, killed by bandits, and you can then assume his identity after looting his body. However, something's wrong, and I couldn't do it. I don't know if it's bugged only on my end, uh, it could be a mod that causes it, or maybe one of the patches of the game broke it, but it just doesn't seem to work for some reason. Every time I go to this place, instead of bandits killing him, one of several things happen. Sometimes they spawn, but he kills them. Other times they spawn, but they run away from him. I'll slay you like a dog! Ah! Chase round him! Oh! And yet sometimes they don't even spawn at all. Like, I would reload the save and different things would happen when I go to this place. It's, it's just weird. Now luckily, I have actually found him dead years ago when I played through this and I even made a video about pretending to be him at the door. But sadly, the video does not include the footage of looting his corpse, um, and also I couldn't replicate it now. So, I don't know, tell me if it works on your end. Good, you can read. So who's this contract made out to? It says, uh, Zdenik. Made out to Zdenik. Mm-hmm, I'm Zdenik. Any more questions? Uh, 
In you go. Also, uh, whether or not you choose to impersonate him does not really make a huge difference. It's one of the ways to get you inside without fighting. What the bloody hell was that? A bout of sudden sincerity. However, Igor, if that was his name, will recognize you as a witcher eventually. Done my share of fighting. Wouldn't carry a sword if I didn't know how to use it. Have you killed humans? Sometimes. Why not come out and say you're a witcher? It's plain to see. Not looking for any monster contracts. Need a regular job for a while. And finally, at Junior's place, it doesn't actually matter what you do. If you made your way up to here peacefully, even if you blow your cover and kill everyone here... Wanna see Junior? Chat, chat. Geralt will still give the line about how he had to talk to people. And also, you could, if you know the location for some reason, take the secret passage even if you weren't peaceful. However, in the end, Geralt will still talk about killing people. And speaking of the passage, it's actually closed off before you get to this quest. I tried making my way through it with console commands to see what's going on, but sadly, Junior is nowhere to be found. And with that, I believe I'm done. Let me know what your preferred way of handling things is in this quest, or rather, these quests, I suppose, because there are two or three, and whether or not you've managed to do it peacefully in any of your playthroughs. With that said, thank you very much for watching, thank you for your support, and until the next video, stay tuned and be good. When do you leave? Now. So this is... <laughs> Ha <laughs>